mushroom and onion steak sauce burgers. Down here, already, I have three different pans going. I have a big old cast iron skillet getting nice and hot to cook our burgers a la plancha. Uh, I've got onions cooking gently over medium low heat, two large softball size or three medium onions, chopped, cooking in a couple tablespoons of butter, cooking down pretty gently, and I'm gonna add the tiniest little sprinkle of super fine sugar, just to sweeten them up even more and kind of gild the lily. And we're gonna season them up with a little white pepper and salt. And once they get super soft and they start to get light caramel in color, we're going to add beef consomme or beef bone broth. So back here, I've got what used to be oh, three quarters of a pound to a pound of creminis. Of course, mushrooms are pretty much all water, so they cook right down to nothing. I want you to look at the color here. I let most mushrooms brown first before I add the salt because salt draws out liquids, of course, and I don't want to slow down the process. So I want them to get nice and meaty. I'm gonna throw in a little bit of fresh thyme. You can use a sprinkle of dry. I have a couple tablespoons if you're using fresh. Mm, half a pump, full teaspoon and a half if you're using dry. I'm gonna turn that down a little bit now because I want to add the garlic. And I don't want the garlic to burn. Okay, so now to the pan, I'm just gonna grate a little garlic in. And I love sherry with mushrooms, so I'm gonna add a splash of sherry. Our mushrooms are almost there. I'm gonna let them go a little bit more, get a little bit softer, and then we'll add the consomme to that. So, for the burgers, I have for four patties, a pound and a half of ground sirloin. So 80, 85%. For every pound and a half of meat, I use about a tablespoon and a half to two tablespoons. I don't measure it, I just kind of eyeball it. I give it a good douse of Worcestershire over the top, okay? We're gonna season liberally with kosher salt or fine sea salt and black pepper. Um, and then you just kind of get in there and don't overmix the meat. I score it with the side of my hand so that I know as I'm pulling that product, we're dealing with roughly the same size, right? So here's how this rolls. Spray the pan with a little bit of anything, olive oil, canola spray, whatever. Get them in there and don't mess with them. The patties are gonna cook. If you're a normal person, you eat them like medium rare to medium and you're not my sister, they'll cook about eight minutes, turning occasionally. Once we turn them after four minutes, you can douse them with your favorite steak sauce of choice, right? And then add two thick slices of Swiss cheese per patty. Here's how we roll. Ha, with the bottom of the roll. <laughs> so we take a little Dijon mustard, some sliced cornichon or your favorite pickles. Up next are sherry mushrooms. Mm. Mm hmm on the toasty brioche rolls. What? I know! And the, look, look, look where the hole in that Swiss cheese is. You can see, can you see that? Can you see the steak, the steak sauce is squishing through the holes of the switch cheese? <laughs> that is very exciting. That was like a Beatles scream. And then you douse your patties with tons of your French onions. Oh, that is sick. That's just sick. Toppers on. Buttery brioche. Oh my gosh. 